Whoa, my camera's off. Where's my camera? Bada. All right. I'm just leaving that in there, you know? So you got to deal with it. All right, so here is your assignment for the uh, for next week, for this week. You are, have if you read this assignment, you've already completed a reading and done some questions. Uh, we're kind of wrapping up this brain unit, if you will. For the most part, we feel like you guys have done a really good job at capturing your main idea, and we're kind of ready to move on to some different stuff. So we're going to end this week with a choice board. Let me start off by saying everything on this assignment is optional. None of it is required. You can do one choice. You can do six choices. It's completely up to you. You can do choice one eight times if you want to. Okay. It is entirely up to you. All right. So here's what you're going to do. There are six choices below. One, two, three, four, five, six. The top three are kind of like techie ones. They're going to require you to get some stuff done using tools that maybe you're not very familiar with. Your teachers are not tech support here, okay? So we really want you guys, if you choose to do, do choice two and draw a comic, you need to make sure you kind of know what you're doing. I mean, you're welcome to run it by some teachers in a Google Meet or something, but we don't want to have to help you with that device just because it'll be too overwhelming for us to help everybody individually. Okay, so let me go through choice one. Choice one is to create a video, all right? You've read all these articles about the teenage brain, and we learned that your brain developed slower than we originally thought. And because you don't have the uh, prefrontal cortex fully developed like I do, all right, teenagers tend to make some irrational decisions. So what we would like for you to do is to film a video that has two scenes. The first scene would be you doing something very rational, right? Like maybe you and your sibling are sharing a toy and your, and your sister says, Oh, my dearest brother, may I please borrow that toy? And you say, oh, yes, my dearest sister, you may borrow this toy. That's scene one, right? Scene two, your sister would be like, oh, my dearest brother, can I please borrow that toy? And you would say in scene two, because your prefrontal brain is not as developed, you would say, no, 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 right? And that would be scene two, right? So we want to see the difference between scene one and scene two, and what it looks like when you have a fully developed brain and you make choices, and what it looks like when you do not have a fully developed brain and you make choices, okay? Choice two is the exact same thing, but in Google Draw comic version, okay? If you wanna draw this out on your own paper, go ahead, it's totally fine. But if you wanna use Google Draw, it's a cool tool in your Google Drive, you can create three boxes on the top, three boxes on the bottom, the six boxes total, and give me a sequence of events in Google Draw that you want to draw your cartoon out. The first thing would be where young people making good decisions or people making good decisions because their brain is fully developed. And the second scene would be, you know, a the same person freaking out over something small because their brain is not fully developed. OK, choice three is my favorite. I hope you all do this and you send them to me. Um, I have recently downloaded the TikTok app and literally watch probably 30 minutes of TikTok videos every day. Um, that's a lie. Probably closer to like two hours of TikTok videos. That's a lie. Probably like six hours of TikTok videos. That feels good. Yeah, that feels about right. OK, so you don't have to have the TikTok app to do this, but we do want you to kind of stick with the TikTok theme. OK, keep your, your video less than a minute. Pick a popular song from TikTok. And then we want you to use the parts of the brain that are outlined in assignment four from that graphic organizer, the vocab words and create a TikTok video based on the parts of the brain and just share what the brain is made up of in your video as best you can, right? So whatever one of those ones where you like a guy's dancing like that, where they're like, da, 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 da. anyone, you can do anything, all right? Or they're pointing to stuff and whatever you want to do, all that stuff, okay? Choice four is to create a Venn diagram of the brain. If you love to draw, this is yours. Draw it out, label the parts of the brain. Again, use assignment four. Graphic organizers to pull out those vocab words and assign you different parts of them. Label them color and make them look good. Okay. Choice five is to create your own board game. Everything that you've learned about, okay, from the from the articles that we've read about brain development, create a uh, board game with those significant events and details that we've learned. It's up to you. It's your game. Figure it out. Have fun with it. However you want to do it. Choice six is a uh, main idea trivia game. Okay. So we've been learning about main idea the whole time. 
We want you to pick some of your favorite stories, movies, songs, write down the main idea for all of those, right? And then create flashcards using Quizlet or a game on Quizlet and Kahoot. And the goal of this game would be like, based on your main idea, I would be able to guess your story. So for example, maybe the main idea would be that a young boy has a scar on his head and he is challenged to save the world from the dark side, right? And I would be like, ooh, Star Wars. Ah, it's Harry Potter, right? So you want to create that main idea and go for it, right? That's your goal. All of these are optional. You can do one of them. You can do six of them. You can do none of them. And you can work with a partner if you want, but you need to hear me say, we're not telling you to go to that person's house. You should be at stay at home, okay? So you got to work with them digitally, online, right? Work on a Google Meet. Uh, I'm sorry, work on like a Google Doc or something together. Call each other. They have cell phones. I don't know if you guys knew that you could call each other on a cell phone, but you can do that and you can work together on something. So whenever you get done with these, go ahead and upload them to the Google Classroom assignment for your teacher for that week so that we can view them and we'll share some of the best ones we've seen. Like I said, I'm real pumped about this one right here. I really would love to see some good ones. So um, make sure you get it done. Have fun, guys. If you tackle this stuff, it's, it's, it's a recovery week. Get some other stuff caught up. Enjoy some sunshine outdoors. And if you're looking for some schoolwork, work on these. The main thing I would want to remind you of is that remember – your teachers are not tech support. So try your best and Google any questions you have about what you want to do. Okay. If you don't want to use Google Draw and you find another tool for comics, great. Okay. If you don't want to create a board game, don't create it. Do whatever you want to. Right. And then finally, I want to leave with you is that have fun. If you do one of these, give it your best effort and just have some fun with it, you know, and, and show us some cool creative thoughts. All right, guys, have a great week. It's supposed to be great weather. We're moving into the month of May here soon. Um, so stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll talk to you soon.